welcome to the next session it's on storing data with ionic storage a very basic question developers have is where to store the data of my mobile app of course you might have the real backend but usually you still need to store some information inside your mobile application with ionic storage we can save json object and key value pairs to different storage engines like index db web sql and local storage we will create one demo application to learn how the ionic storage works so let's start create a new project the name of the project let's say template i use your blank template and capacitor okay so uh, to save the time already one project i created and open in the uh, vs code so this is our project so uh, to use the ionic storage we require few installations let's go one by one the first one is ionic storage Second and third installation we require to use the SQLite database of the mobile application. So, you will get the links in the description of the video. Okay, the installation part is done. Open app.module.ts file. The packages uh, we installed are imported here for the Ionic storage. In the ng module imports, we will add the Ionic storage module along with the driver orders. So, Now here the driver order is set as first index db and second driver dot local storage. We can change the uh, order as per the requirement. Open app dot component dot ts. Again here two packages are imported. Let's create. Here we will create the application storage and properly initialize it. So init method, we are defining here the driver as well as we are creating our storage. Let's call this method. We'll run the application. The application open in the browser. So it's a blank application. We will add here few controls to take uh, input from the user and three buttons uh, to perform the actions save value to the storage retrieve the value from the storage and uh, remove the value so let's start home page dot ts uh, import here the storage declare two variables
html first one is our input control three buttons here we capture the input from the user let define it here second save to the storage that is set first key and second its value so we need to define two more methods load from storage So open the developer tool. Clear if any existing value. Here you go. Your key and the value. So one thing done. Now we'll write the code to get the value from the storage and to remove the value from the storage. Okay, to save our time. Async. So to retrieve the value, method is gate. Provide the key name here. By that key name, it retrieve the value. And will display the value. To remove. Value is retrieved. Now remove and refresh. Both the key value pair are removed from the 
index db now we will check for the local storage so in the app dot module ts we set here the order of the drivers okay so I will delete this database this is my local storage delete if some existing or clear I see here test val save to storage now the value is stored at the local storage but not the index db we can retrieve it and remove it so that's it okay guys thanks a lot bye bye